And this is my song, Canada Goose Counts, which I wrote on December 19th, 2022. This is from the North American capital of Canada Geese, right here in Lethbridge. Right here in Lethbridge for the winter. Yeah, I don't know if they, I, do they have period. Canada geese in Eurasia or something like that? It might be the... No, I think it's just American. I think uh, then uh, it's, this is the Canada goose capital of the world. But I looked it up. Um, mm -hmm. 39,000 yeah. may seem like a lot of geese. That's almost half as many Canada geese as humans in Canada. It is not natural or healthy for predator populations to exceed prey populations. It It's not sustainable. The, if that happens, the system will collapse. And... Um, I was looking it up about Canada geese, and this song will clarify some little, little other figures about Canada geese and why they're coming here for the winter yeah. instead of going down south to the United States. Like they went down all the way to, to Texas, the Gulf? and like, yeah. yeah, I don't know why they're choosing to hang out here rather than. Going yeah, down it's there. just because there are a few cool people like you and me here and our chihuahuas. I know, they just love us so much. Uh, but uh, yeah, there's a hundred thousand people in uh, Lethbridge, and last year, yeah, I guess at winter time, there were thirty-nine thousand uh, Canada geese here. Yeah. So. Oh yeah. Oh, thank you. I, I guess I I said Canada, but I meant yeah. I lucky you cleared that up. Mm -hmm. Because I, I made a mistake. What did you say? I said Canada, and I meant uh, Lethbridge. Okay, I didn't catch that. But, oh, wow. Uh, well, that was just well, very... Fortuitous. The, the anyway, Lethbridge, Alberta, just clear, right clear here. Right I here. gather within the city limits uh, last winter, yeah, uh, 39,000. Yeah, there are more than 100,000 people in Canada. As much as it seems like there aren't. Well, there are some idiots out there, and one was being interviewed on the CBC who thought there should be 100 million people in Canada. I think it's a little over 30 million, yeah. and we are overpopulated. We are. Given our resources, we are yeah. overpopulated. Yeah. yeah. It's, I mean, there's going to be a lot of people die in the next 10 years. There has to be because there's just too many people. It's, there's it's already too, too many people, and the next 10 years, uh, you know, unless they die off, yeah. Uh, the, it, we're putting on uh, extra billion every year, so we've yeah, hit eight keep, billion. Keep overpopulating when mm -hmm. the population needs to come down, and so it's, it's all other age. things it's uh, like uh, things without a Malthusian kind of solution, mm -hmm. and it's a it's a horrible solution. Mm -hmm. uh, the best solution is birth control, but uh, there will be other controls on it. But uh, without Malthusian control. Uh, it'll get up to nine billion, more than nine billion, because it, it you know, like it, that's assuming it'll go the same rate as it went last uh, ten years. But uh, it's just snowballing, so it'll be theoretically less than ten years to add another billion on. Yeah, it's stunning. Yeah. So here's my song, Canada Goose Counts, and I don't have a tune for it. I'm just going to wing it, but sometimes it works out. Alberta's geese have flown down south again to Lethbridge. There's as many here as men, which is a bit of an exaggeration. Well, men, you know, we got <laughs> yeah, okay. theoretically 50 million males here in uh, Lethbridge, <laughs> male humans. Yeah, okay, so maybe it's not. It seems so though, I haven't done a count. Some others will then share their found amount. Geese used to choose the Texan southern shore, but they don't choose to go there anymore. They've been endangered in the southern states, but here their numbers grow at healthy rates. Maybe they just don't like their capital punishers down there Maybe in Texas. You know, there's a lot of them. Maybe George or Bush bird is. hunters. Maybe they hunt Kennedy. <laughs> oh, yeah, here's the rest oh, of the they, they hunt with the <laughs> machine guns and all <laughs> that stuff. So this is like an hunting. this is like an instrumental break. Sorry. Yeah, yeah we have little raps. <laughs> a little rap. So, uh, last winter there were nearly forty thousand in Canada. Eight thousand families now who live and thrive on their ancestral land. But now our native geese might need a hand. They're catching flu from bird barns and then fall. 
So soon there may be none to count at all. Yeah, thank you, People's Republic of China, for spreading well, the and, avian and flu. Birds. I mean, of we course. can't be raising poultry that way. No. It's it's disgusting. Yeah, it's give not up healthy, uh, eating and it's meat. It's going to kill us all. I mean, it's not a. It's come to the point where we're just waiting for these bird barns to, barns to wipe wipe us out. Yeah, like, because ultimately it's going to cross over with something. I'm not going to mention what it might cross over with, but and then it will. It I will. mean, it's a matter. Even before all this COVID and bird flu and all this happened. We still had the um, overuse of antibiotics mm. in the meat industry, mm. oh, and yeah. the fact that we we're using the same sort of antibiotics, and we need them. And once they're gone, well, what are we gonna do? Mm. So we're looking for that. That once that happens, that's another big um, drop in the population that's gonna happen. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. just gonna slam us. I think and they were saying sorry. Finish. And then the pharmaceutical industry, well, they're just, they could be making new antibiotics, but they don't want to because they're, they want to make money off of There's them, There's right? apparently so not once, enough profit in If Once we're at a point where we desperately need the antibiotics and we're dropping off like flies, they'll pull out some new antibiotics, but we're going to be paying through the nose for them. Yeah, theoretically. So, um, the, uh, what was I going to say? Um, it's a big deal. This is a big issue. This oh, it should be. Mm -hmm. no. Serious. Mm -hmm. Yeah, people aren't taking it serious. I want to say oh. that we saw a, a Canada goose out in the wild. Yeah, that was sick, and we. we oh, it's it was got burning. to have been sick. It was so it sick was it couldn't wind, fly. Yeah. yeah, it couldn't fly away, but it could paddle away and yeah, stuff for like a that. Thing. Uh, it's probably yeah. very dead because probably. a cold snap cold hit after snap that. Mm -hmm. 